and here is where I'm at. As you can see, I'm at a, a school, college called IV Tech, that's in Indianapolis. As y'all know, I made it to the end of my eight weeks of class at Martin University. So today, our last class is going to be here. Um, and we're going to have like a, like, we're going to have dinner and all this amazing stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, I'm scared of the elevators. Fresh PH penthouse. Look at my camera, y'all. It's not it's supposed to be a stick. I gotta put the stick back on there, y'all. I gotta put so I, I haven't put the stick back on there because I have not been. Oh I'm scared. Martin? Yeah, just go right down the house. Oh, thank you. Whoa. This is nice. Dang. This is nice, y'all. Look at this. See all the way behind the pier. BTF. Martin works. Dinner is served. Open it. Because, no, no, and also the room was set for 30, and we only had X amount. Yo, I didn't even know this was butter, y'all. I thought it was bread. <laughs> The little one? The long one. No, this is the salad. It's so long. It's going to be a 
Hello guys. Wait, okay. It's a whole new day today. Like, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to. Oh man. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to really uh, complete that video the other night because the camera died, but I wasn't I wasn't able to show y'all, but I got a certificate. I did receive that. <laughs> it is at my it's at my school in the room in my room. It's on the wall. Uh, I think I put it there. I, put, I took it to school to put it on the wall because I feel like it was a great way to inspire the kids. So yeah, I'm sorry I can I couldn't show y'all that. But yeah, it's on the wall at my school that I work at in my room. But today I'm at Martin. She brought her brother and mother. That lady right there is talking to you. Yes. So because the food is down there. I had to figure out what's going on with the PayPal thing so I can get his one from IU. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, I don't know why she got you his car. Did you tell her that? No. You have Nashawn Clay. Nashawn in the uh, lower thirds. The lower thirties? Lower thirties. You know what that is? You just want to be used to it. What I'm doing? Huh? What I'm doing? Who? What's his name? Is that going to be able to see you? What's his name? For me? You need me to get that for you? You got that set up just right? Yeah, my tripod broke, so I gotta figure it out. You, you want me to hold it back there for you? I take advantage of the light. Thank you. Six, five, four, All right. three, wait, wait. two, hold on, hold on. one. Okay, I'm gonna put up. Oh, come on, y'all can't take. I'm gonna put on in 13 seconds. Hey, what are we doing? Can you put it from up there? Alright, here. But you probably need to move this right here. No, I'll cut off. Let me, I got five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Pastor G, Martin University. We're excited, as always, to be down here for our Getting to Know the New Martin U open house, which is going on right now. And we're also excited because we have great student testimonials like this one right here. Tell everybody your name. <laughs> and Nashawn Clay is just not any student. I think what you're, you're a freshman. You're a freshman. You just started here. You didn't graduate yet. She's a freshman. And more than that, you tell everybody else. I'm an advocate for youth based on the garbage. I work in the school. I work with my kids. And I work with you know, I've known you for a little while. And it just so happens that when, we, when you and I met, uh, I guess we hadn't eaten yes. folks first yet, right? So you thought we gave talk, but you were already sort of working toward something big, even then. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, yeah. is that the case? What really got you into focusing in on the areas that you're focusing in on and, and trying to change lives the way, you, the way you're really working to change lives? What, what motivated you? Well, what's different about you than everybody else? How come, I mean, you're here, but there's a lot of other people that should be here. So what was it about your situation that made you or motivated you that maybe had to motivate other people? Everybody has a choice. I just made my mind up. That's why. Okay, you know, girl, that what did you make up your mind? Was it the band like Timmy? Was it maturity? Like, what was it? Why Martin? Why 
that how did Mark become a part of that family? Uh, a lady came to me so you also said you want to be the first PhD or something yep. like that where does that motivation come where did that idea go from because uh, I want to be an image in the ghetto to show kids especially where I come from that they're meant to go down this pathway to because you don't really see it so, okay, there's a video that we want to premiere on you that we, we had. We're not ready to premiere yet, but in that video, you kind of take a, a stroll back down your path, right? You know, kind of go back through it. Describe for people, give them an idea. When you say your environment, what is that? What does that look like? What does that feel like? What does that sound like? What does that mean? So that's where you're coming from, because obviously other people still there. Growing up in it, what would you say to them about how education might be able to play a part in their own personal success? What would you say to them? Uh, I think education is very powerful because it can put you in like, different situations. They can like take you out of the situation that you're in. You blog, you blog about so like your first day, your first week, and I think you're blogging now. I mean, you're always, you always got a camera. What has it been like, you know, starting at Marjorie? You know, it's tough for some people to make this decision. What has it been like for you this first two weeks and first semester here at Marjorie? What has it felt like? Um, did you have some college before you came to Martin? Did you go to another school uh, before you came to Martin University? Okay, so describe the difference from that previous environment and where you are today in Martin. Uh, my previous environment was just me going to college. This is more like going to college, but it's more of a <laughs> What's it like to be in, in, in a situation where everybody's not your age? Some people are younger, some people are younger, some people are older. That kind of environment. What has that been like for you to not see a very traditional college setting where everybody's getting into it? Okay, dinner night problem. When she called in on the phone, she said she was yeah, no. We call no. we call no. that no. andragogy. Look it up. Andragogy. And 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 that's what we call it. Right. We can learn from everybody. Right. Not just the instructors. You learn from other people in the classroom as well. All right. Now you are more than a student. You're more than an advocate. You're an artist. Right. Poet. Okay. Rapper. Producer. Videographer. Editor. Right. What do you really want to get out of this experience of art that all of that? Did you come up there? Okay, tell me about the This experience like really like shake together, you know, it's going to be a direction. Oh, okay. So, yeah. here's my last question. Just imagine. On the other side of this camera are those very same people who saw when we went back into the, the, the community. Thank you. Look at those people, and I want you to tell them what they need to hear to encourage them to think about taking the same road. What would you say? Uh, what would I say to them is uh, the block, the model of the university, 
Living up there. I was trying to get the. Deep right there, though. Oh, oh I'm still sinking in the water. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, try that way. Uh, I'm about to see. I'm about to go around and see if I can get through this way. Oh, never mind. This water right here too. Hop over this little creek. Hop over it. Can I jump this far? Yeah, I can jump. <laughs> okay. My God. What you say? <laughs> we made it over. Cause it's flooded all over here, as y'all can see. So we have to find another way to make it over here without getting caught in the water. Yeah. This look nice though. It look nice. Though. I like how it's moving. The water don't never come up here. I can always jump down there and get in there. Dang. I'm gonna put my GoPro in there. In the water? Yeah. You can go in there. See what's in there. Don't drop it. Yeah, because I sure can't see. I'm about to see how deep it is. I'm about to pick this up. This long? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So far, go jump on me. <laughs> Crazy. If somebody paid you money, would you do it? Somebody paid you a million and say, Jump on that wall. <laughs> I swim in this water in the middle <laughs> for a million. But Look at him go through this. <laughs> He's going through all that 
Yeah. How you get over there? It's a bridge all the way down there. You gotta cross the bridge and then come on that side. That's how long I put in it. Yep. Right there. Look how fast it's going, y'all. It's just true. Look at the log. He got to run through it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's funny. I know those tires are fire. I want a bike like that. It makes the and it makes it go. I don't know. I think it makes it go faster. I want to see the tire. You want to see a what? Dang. That's crazy how much power is in a root. Because if it's cut, it's dead. You about to climb it? Oh, they about to call they peoples. I hope it's a woodpecker. Oh, uh, I do. That's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy to me. Like, this root, this thing has so much power that if this tree doesn't have it, it'll die. That's crazy. Ain't that right? Huh? That's right, isn't it? I don't know what you said. It, like, if the, if the tree doesn't have its root, it's going to die. Yeah, without its roots in it Yeah. That's crazy. But you know what's crazy? Like, the one, the one reason why it's probably still standing this strong wow. is because tree, these other trees, trees pass nutrients through their roots to each other. So it's, it's just keeping it standing? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they sense something is dying or one is lacking, they, they help each other, like, through their roots, communicate through their roots. That's how crazy nature is. So all these trees are probably really, like, somehow all linked in some way with the same roots or connected and they communicate different stuff. So you think it's still gonna fall? It might, it might. yeah. Cause I don't see no reason why it would do that way. I think the dirt is getting soft around it because the water keeps flooding. And so it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not stuck in the ground because the dirt is getting soft. And it's also, if it would be standing up straight, it would probably be the tallest tree here. So it looks like it's the oldest tree. Oh, you saying it's old? Yeah, it's one yeah. of the oldest trees. Because if it stood up straight, it would be one of the tallest trees here. Yes, but how long you think it's been, like, it been here? Like this tree right here. I'm going to say like it. Maybe. I mean. Hey Siri, how long does it take a tree to grow? Depends on the climate and the water available. In tropical climates with warm weather and a plentiful supply of water, a tree can become fully grown in 30 years. A so in a tropical environment with sun all the time, no other weather. Like our, our trees go through a season of dying and rebirth because of we got a winter and we got a spring. But, so I say it probably take this tree probably 50 years to get to that length and size. 50 years? Trees. This is supposed to be a completely wooded area. Like you can tell. They chopped some of the trees down.
crazy. Never seen a baby sheep. Nope. Not that far. This one looks strong. Huh? There's one that's 